following show contains adult content. It's not our intent to offend anyone, but we want to inform you that if you are a child under the age of 18 or get offended easily, this next show may not be for you. The content, opinions, and subject matter of these shows are solely the choice of your show hosts and their guests, and not those of the Entertainment Network or any affiliated stations. Any comments or inquiries should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for listening. Hey ho, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, bringing you the good times in music, fashion, pop culture, and entertainment. Hope everybody's doing well. We got a fun show for you guys today. We have uh, Nashville singer-songwriter Jenny Grace, and then our favorite uh, our, our favorite local celebrity, I guess he's actually all over the place, Daniel DeCrisio. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, before we get started, let's say hi to my cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. What do you want me to say? Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Oh, I do the <laughs> rink. Hi, everybody. This is Astro. Astro, say hi. Hi, hi, hi. We're ready for a good show today. Uh, Daniel is a good friend of ours, and he's quite an exceptional fellow because he's been modeling for years, and also he has his own rock group. So he's an interesting guy that we're going to have a lot of fun with. Actually, I but, found out all kinds of stuff about him. Yeah, Danny does a lot of stuff for years and years. He was uh, Jose Herbert's, uh one of the hairdressers in Beverly Hills for Jose Herbert years ago, who was did all the movie stars and all the television stars in Hollywood. So the chat room says they love so your he's hair. Gonna, so, oh, my hair. Yeah, well, it's kind of wild. So um, he... In uh, your shirts. Yeah. So Danny's going to come, Daniel will come on and maybe give us some gossip about some of the celebrities hair that he did. There Wouldn't you go. Fun? <laughs> so what's up, chat room? Everybody in the chat room is starting to come in now. Don Hinton, hello, hello. How are you? Lady Lake Music, hello, hello. Um, and um, uh, we had a cool weekend, you guys. We went Friday night to the Freestyle Explosion. Uh, it was in Palm Desert. We saw, um, obviously, Stevie B. That's how we went there as his guest. Uh, Taylor Dane, Lisa Lisa, TKA, Debbie Deb, Rob Bass, Trenier, um, who else? Uh, TKA. Oh, uh, the Cover Girls, the Jets. Uh, we saw everybody. It was so much fun, and we had all access to go all over the place, and so we had a really good time. And and uh, and I love that freestyle music. I wish it would all everything that everything that's old is coming back again, and I would love the freestyle music to come back again where it's on the radio stations and we could hear it everywhere because it's really the best. You know, the word old is really a frustrating word. There's no such thing as old. old. What does old mean? I think it's a horrible word. We should get it out of our vocabulary. Music is music. There is no date. There is no time on music. I listen to music that was written 400 years ago. I listen to music that was written last week. I love all kinds of music. Rap some, not all. My, my least favorite, but the rest I love. The same thing goes for age as a person. I wrote about this on my Facebook page this morning or yesterday morning. Age is all in your head. There's no reason that we have to be old or act old. Oh, I'm old. I have pain. Oh, I'm old. I'm not going to see well. Oh, I'm old. I don't need sex anymore. That's all baloney. It's all nonsense. It's all in your head. Stay young and you'll be young. Think young and you think young. You are what you think. If you think you're hungry, you eat. If you think you have to pee, you pee. And the same thing with love, sex, and life. I don't believe in aging. I think aging is just totally stupid. I just think you go through life and then die. And there's no such thing as age. We look at, oh, he's 80. Forget about it. He's shot. He's no good. He's 50. Oh, he's not going to get it up anymore. He's 50. He's 30. Oh, well, he's on drugs. He's 20. Oh, well, he's a stupid kid. I mean, we have so many things that we say about every decade of everybody's life. Knock it off. Get rid of it. Forget about it. 
I'm, I forget about it. That Brooklyn comes out. Forget about you it. Know, my Brooklyn always comes out. I'm sorry. But no, seriously. Um, I feel the same now that I did when I was in my teen years or 20 years. I look in the mirror. I see a different person looking back. Of course, I look nothing like I used to look. I look like an entirely different person. But you know what? I am an entirely different person than when I was a young fella. When I was a young fella, I had all kinds of wild ideas, ambition, energy to do the things that I wanted to do. Now, I just take it easy. I relax, but I enjoy everything I do. Food tastes better. Sex is better. Love is better. Mm -mm, even with him. Don't say that. Nah, I love it. Honey, I have to joke. <laughs> you know, these waspy people have no friggin' sense of humor. <laughs> Jews and Italians know how to I'm laugh. I'm a wasp. Greeks, hundred percent. <laughs> Hispanic people and Greeks, Italians and Jews, we know how to laugh. I guess dark skinned people and black people know how to laugh. But these waspy blonde things. I'm not blonde. I'm gray. <laughs> yeah. No, but where your people come from? Hey, I want to give it. I'm going to do a free commercial for somebody. Oh, good. Who? So you guys listen up. Everybody knows I've had lots of problems with one of my knees, um, and the problem has gotten so bad that I was walking with a cane. And the doctor, That's because he wore those high heels and he's bringing the yeah. ankle. So the doctor told me, you know, that I need to wear shoes with support. And there's a brand, it's called On Cloud. And they're not inexpensive, but they're also not like therapeutic looking shoes. They're just cool looking like sneakers. Uh, the name of them is On Cloud. They're not inexpensive, but I put them on and I'm still in pain, but nowhere near the pain I was in. I can walk without a cane. Ron even told me yesterday I was almost walking normal, you know, and I haven't walked normal in two years. He wasn't swishing that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so if you have knee problems or or or, or a shin splints, because I have shin splints, uh, a very good shoe. It's called On Cloud. You can get them online. You can get them, you know, at all your better sneaker stores. And I recommend them highly because. Um, it's really like amazing that I can actually like walk without have like really, really limping and I can walk without a cane. So go for it all. And uh, if you need them, get them. Cause I know a lot of people have from the show have come to me asking me about knee problems that they have knee problems. So I'm just giving out some advice and, um, we got a lot of cool stuff, uh, getting ready to come up to you guys. I, I think I mean, we, have, we have so many movies ahead. I, I really think how are we going to do it? We may have two in May at the same time, you know, <clears throat> the funding is the problem. Getting films funded, the, the 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 investors, yes, 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 today, maybe tomorrow. How about next week? What about a month or two from now? And that puts all production online in a line of, of waiting. So now we have possibly a Nevada movie and a world L.A. movie um, at the same time. L.A., Nevada, <clears throat> and, and then we're going to be shooting. Uh, and how are we going to do all of this? It's impossible. I'm, I'm in. <coughs> excuse me. These are not <coughs> desert goddamn sand in the desert. I hate it. We have a fine dust that blows all the time in the desert. It comes in the house on your windowsill, on your furniture. You do that, your furniture. You dust in five minutes later. It's back. And it's this very fine black dust, very microscopic fine. But it's called desert throat, and I suffer from that. Anyway. Anyway, we have a problem with, with funding. I wish the people that fund would say yes or no, period. No, I'm not interested. Yes, I'm interested. Stop with the looking whatever, whatever, whatever. Stop analyzing what you're investing. Know the, the script. Know the stars and know the producers and the directors. If you've got good producers, good directors, a good script, invest. You've got a good movie. You'll make money. Well, It's um, a simple math. I don't know why they make such a big freaking deal about it. So we want to welcome to the chat room Mike Wagner from the Mike Wagner Show. Join hey, us. Mikey. B. Claudia. They're all asking me about hey, the B. shoes. You guys, the name of the sign is uh, – the name of the shoes are on cloud, O-N-C-L-O-U-D. They're really, like, nice. And I'm telling you, like, the company uh, – you know, the can I ask Jose? To, can I, Jose? Can I ask you to do Juan. something? I don't Juan. like Juan. What am I calling him, Jose? <laughs> Who didn't we have a Jose once? No. Anyway, Juan. I'm sorry. Um, could we get rid of the Jimmy Star on the top and put it somewhere else because it's triplicating on the TV screen in reverse and it looks weird. But the TV screen is just because it's behind us. I know that, but it looks weird. Uh, 
Warren, you can just turn the TV off otherwise. Could you do something about no, that? No, we need Warren? that one at the top. That's our branding. We need that but one. But must we have it there that it droop, triple well, can get Oh, you can get rid of that and do it like that. That looks weird. Well, we yeah. need the one on the top because that's our branding. So that's I know that, but, but can we can we lower the camera so that we don't have such a space between that and our heads? Okay, you gotta go like this. That's How's that? Bad. I think that's. Bad. You want me to turn the TV back on? Maybe now it might look not look so bad. Thanks, Juan. Don't worry about it. We were moving stuff around, so we'll see how it all goes. Um, it'll take a second for it to come back up. Anyway, everybody, I hope everybody's having a good week. And it's Wednesday. It's hump day. I'm glad everybody's tuning in with us. And um, oh, everybody's saying they saw my cane, too. Uh, B. Claudia joined us. Uh, hey, B. Claudia in Germany. Um, you guys are going to really like our guest today. It's uh, going to be fun. It's kind of like a musical guest day. Mm -hmm. well, what happened to it? I don't know. <laughs> so talk, because i got to like fix it. Like the blue it. looks better. Oh, you like the blue? Well, uh, no. without the writing. And back uh, no, Why is it in system. reverse? Why does it come in reverse? Maybe it always you... comes in reverse. Ooh. Let's see. Hang on. I can't find it now, so we can't get rid of it. So keep talking so you don't keep have dead air, and I'll see if but I can find it. not dead air. People are looking now. We have all these commercials. I know, but not everybody watches. Now you have YouTube on. Millions of people listening, so they don't want to hear millions, dead air. Oh, millions of people are listening. I'm so excited. Anyway, as I said before, whatever I was talking about, it's difficult um, scheduling film. Now, I wanted to go to New York for a couple of weeks in May. And now we had to cancel that because possibly we're shooting uh, Death House in uh, yeah. May 12th. And then Red, Red River, we're shooting the same time. I'm in both movies. One is a, one is a, a Ming Ballad film and one is a Jimmy Starr film. How can I be in two places at once? Luckily, in Red, that's too much. Okay, I was just trying to get rid of the time. Luckily, that's it. Luckily, in Red River... I pl I'm, I'm only doing a cameo, and it's a telephone thing. But uh, Death House, I'm playing a very important part, and I'll be on set a while. And things are going good with my porn star <clears throat> wife, you guys. So we have, I think, three movies that are going to be shooting, at least three movies this year, um, which is very cool. And possibility um, that uh, we'll have Ron's movie put together and also Dog Wouldn't Moon. that be wonderful? If my movie is really fun and we need laughs, my movie is just – funny from beginning to end it's uh it's a, it's a black comedy or dark comedy and it's about um it's, it's, it's a i don't know if i should talk about it but anyway it's a wonderful uh film very very good film it's a very what they call feel good film after you see it you're going to laugh and chuckle about it and, and tell people to see it it's a film that may not be uh for everyone but the people that it will appeal to are in the millions and zillions out there, which are seniors. Senior people today need to be recognized and not invisible anymore. And my film recognizes senior people and what senior people can do still at a senior age. And I'm very proud of my movie because not only is it funny, but it tells you a message that you're never too old to do anything you want to do in life. And I think that message is so important. So there you go. James, do we have any music to play? No, we're not going to play music yet. We're going to do a commercial. So everybody, we want to thank everybody for tuning in every week. You can hear us weekly, obviously, on our home station, the best station for shows, W4CY. We're on from 12 to 2 p.m. Pacific time, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. You can also hear us on SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music. YouTube, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Prime. Those are all the major ones and all the other uh, out, out, outlets and platforms that we're on. Um, there's a bunch of like another 100 more or 120 more, but, the, but these are all the major ones. So you can all see us on those, and it should be like a lot of fun. And um, I think uh, what we're going to do is play a real quick music song, and then we're going to bring on our first guest. Great. So we're going to play uh, – uh, and hopefully, like, I don't think we'll get in trouble for playing this, but this is a band that I love, and I found them on a, I read an article about them, and their name is Ten Sharp, and this song was a huge hit in the 90s, and I'm reaching out to them to try to get them on the show. But the name of the band is Ten Sharp. The name of the song is You. Enjoy it, and we'll be right back. And when we're back, we will be back with our first guest, Jenny Grace. Hey. <laughs> All right. 
right with me As long as you are by my side Talk or just say nothing I don't mind your looks never lie mm, I was always on the run Finding out mm, What I was looking for And I was always insecure oh, Just until I found Words often don't come easy Show the inside of me, oh no, my baby And you, you are always patient Dragging out what I try to hide I was always on the run Finding out what I was looking for So that was 10 Sharp, you guys. It's a band that I've loved since the 90s. And it just happened to be that they came up in a, in a feed of a magazine I was reading. And, uh, and they have a new Greatest Hits album out or something on vinyl. And so that's what made me start listening to them again. But they're actually a great, great band. And I, like, love them to death. What um, happened to the two? Nothing. It's there. Oh, there we are. It's behind you. All right. So now, you guys, we're going to bring on our first guest. Um, let's see if we can hear her. Go ahead and bring her in, Juan. 
Oh, I hope he can hear because he told me they have some outages. So let's see. Uh, I'll type it to you him. You see, now you sure. lowered it and those things are back again. Well, otherwise your head's cut off. Yeah. All right. So you can't do a whole bunch about it. Okay. Let me see. Type we're on a little thing. Bring you got to work on things all the time, you know. What we can do is get a green screen, and that way we can put whatever picture we want behind us. Let's do a green screen. I, we used to have one. I don't know what happened to it. We had a green screen? Yeah, we used to have a green screen. I don't know what we did with it. Well, it's here somewhere. No, it was when we were in Pennsylvania, so I'm not sure. All right, uh, Juan, go ahead and bring Jenny in. Are you there? I know you're saying they're having outages at the studio, so I don't know if you can hear, but I typed it in. Outages at the studio? Outages. Oh, outages. outages. Like why is he outages. having outages? Florida's having good weather. Yeah, I don't know why. That's just in Florida, his hair. hair looks like shit. Yeah, they say we should get green. Oh, thank you for the – thanks, Glee, uh, uh, Don, about the glasses. They love my glasses. Um, let's see. Hey, Juan, are you there? Bring her in. Let's make out. I have to make out with my dog a little bit. Oh, Astro, make out with me. Come on. Anyway, you guys, so we're getting ready to bring on our first guest, and I'm not sure why the studio is not hearing us, um, so I'm working on it. And uh, let's see. I love this dog so much I could scream from how much love I have for him. I adore him. I worship him. <laughs> He's my little baby. Um, you know, I never liked little dogs in my life. I've always had big, big dogs. Oh, and smile then, real quick for me. Yay, we're smiling for B. Claudia because she does our promos, you guys, for after the show. She does a phenomenal job. She's amazing. And uh, so let's do that. Okay, now. Did, did you get it, B? Because I'm done. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah so talking. then Jimmy liked this little dog, and I went, yeah, a little dog. Did I, did I know I would fall in love with it? And he loves me. It was supposed to be Jimmy's dog, and Astro took to me immediately because we make out because we love each other. I love my little boy. I love my little boy. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, talk for a minute. I got to talk for a minute. That's like a puppet over here. I can't talk, help stop, it. Stop, move. Oh. He told me that we need to communicate in Look, sending, I'm a puppet. Him, I'm a sending puppet. him chats, and it's I'm sending him chats, and he's not getting it. So Who, Who's not getting what? Juan's not getting that. He can't hear us that, to tell her to bring her in. She's supposed to be there. Where is so. she? She's supposed to be there. It says uh, she's there. Another one I can't be bothered. I'm serious. Um, I think I should take off all my clothes and do a nude review. Hey, Juan. that won't be a very pretty sight, trust me. <laughs> right? No, it'd be beautiful. I love. Oh it. yeah, you sick old freak. Oh, that he likes old men. I don't get I'm that. I'm gonna one. send him an email because I can't seem to. Be I wouldn't touch, go to so. bed with an 82 year old if you paid me. That's just funny. I don't know why he likes it. He's a little demented. You have to be a little deranged, you know. But that's okay. I like that. I'm still on my health food kick. And I love Dave's bread. It's the best bread to eat, the healthiest bread, and it's delicious. But I really shouldn't say it because now everybody out there is going to buy it and the prices are going to go up. I mean, it's expensive already. It's like six bucks a loaf of bread, which is ridiculous. It's actually even more, I think. But everything is outrageously expensive here in California. Jimmy went to renew his registration on his car, and the registration was almost $800. Could you believe that? Yeah, it's unbelievable. 800 bucks to register a car for one year. My car, which is an 04 Audi, is 400 Now, they say that they charge you according to the value of the car. I mean, my car, $400, an 04? The value on that car is nothing. It's all my love for it that I have it. I mean, value-wise, it's really not worth anything yet. It may be in 10 years. But right now, you're lucky you can get six, seven thousand for it. Eight, ten thousand would be a lot for my car, and I pay for it. Actually, Jenny, our our guest says, wrote in the chat room that she it's like two thousand in Connecticut. <laughs> Who wrote two thousand? Jenny. Are you full of baloney? She's in. She's no, in there she's, now. She's dreaming. No such thing as two thousand. Oh, it's because she's behind a little bit. She didn't pay it a little bit, so she's a little bit behind. Okay, she hasn't paid it for two years, so it's a thousand a year. <laughs> it's a thousand a year. <laughs> Are you kidding Connecticut, me? That's where wealthy people live. What the hell are they going she nuts? Says, she says yes. No, she's got, and she's got a Range Rover, which is an expensive car like we have an expensive car. Juan, where are you? You know what? Better to be poor. Poor people get everything. She said come to Connecticut. No, really. Poor people get everything for free. They get free food stamps. They get low rental income. They don't pay for insurance on things. I mean, they really do very well in California, poor people. Everybody poor should move to California. It's a good place to live if you're poor. 
But if you're not poor, you're going to pay through the nose. Very expensive living here. Real estate is demented. I mean, you go to Los Angeles and you look at a dump, a shack, a crappy house with a rotten bathroom, broken floors, filthy dump. They want a million too. I mean, are they crazy? You can't even get a one-bedroom apartment in Hollywood for under six out three thousand. 3,500, 4,000, 5,000. Uh, we have a very famous friend who's an actor. I can't use his name. He and his wife live in the Valley, Van Nuys, in a shitty neighborhood. Two bedroom, they pay 6,000 a month rent. Can you imagine? What is the country doing to us? Why are they punishing us? Why are they allowing people to gouge and gouge and gouge? Gasoline, food, rent, clothing, everything is up. I used to buy, you know, olive oil, a, a big thing of olive oil for like $7. Now it's $14. Everything has doubled. But the salaries haven't doubled. And people's income hasn't doubled. And Social Security hasn't doubled. And poor people that are over 65 living off of their Social Security, they can't make it because if their rent is $1,800, that's all they make in Social Security. What are they supposed to eat? Cardboard? I mean, it's time that I think America wakes up and we start to put the right people in the right places for the right reasons so that we can all uh, benefit this, not just the very poor. I mean, if you make X amount of dollars in Social Security and if you're $5 over the mount, you cannot get food stamps. And that's sad because people work very hard all their lives and put into social security to get back a money monthly. So I don't know. I'm frustrated. We all are frustrated. Uh, it's just insane. It's just really insane. insane. So, so you guys, I got a message from Dean cause uh, one, and I'm texting one now that, that uh, Comcast uh, internet is having an internet outage. So hang on, Jenny. We're working on getting you in, and we can't even do anything because we can't play music videos or anything because we can't get in touch with Juan until he comes back online. So, do you guys in the chat room? Do you guys hear us? Um, I don't know where I'm my internet. I don't know when the guy seems to come and go. Oh, this is uh, baloney. But, uh, Why is just, network out in Florida having storms? Or Comcast is having. They're working. Comcast is working around the studio, and they're fucking it up. Well, they shouldn't do that while we're on the air. Let them do it when somebody else is on the air. I know. Well, we'll work it out. And we're, uh, only thing is, we can't play any music or we can't do anything, so we have to entertain people now while we're waiting for it to come back. Okay. Um, okay. I'll start with taking off my shirt. Then I'll take off the other shirt. Then I'll stand up and I'll take off my pants. Oh, hang on. And then you'll all vomit. Anyway, what can we do? Let's on, sing well, and dance. Hang on, hang on. They, they, the, the chat room wants Jenny to go into the chat room, the actual chat room. So let me see if I, if I, Jenny, join the chat room. I think if I hit this this thing, you can join the chat. Hang on. Uh, let's see. If I hit comments here, uh, this is the chat room coming in. Let's this see. Is oh, they, terrible. they can hear us though. This she is can really go into terrible. Your messenger. I don't know how she gets into there. Uh, somebody send me the how to get her into the chat, and we'll put her in the chat, and we can talk to her because we can't even. You know, I it. love this shirt. Out of all my clothes, I love this shirt the most. You know why I love this shirt so much? Look at it. It's so retro, 1955. I remember wearing clothes like this when I was a young kid, and I love the look of the of the clothes of the 50s. Look at that, that nice design. I wonder who made this shirt. Whoever designed this shirt did a good job. Who did this shirt? Do you remember? Um, no, I don't know who did it. We just got it. I don't remember who did it. I just bought this shirt too because I uh, fell in love with it. Like I need another shirt, right? I only have three million of them. You know, every week we change clothing because we don't want to wear the same clothes over and over again. So we've got closet. I mean, I've got about five closets in our new bathroom filled with shirts. I must have three hundred shirts or more that I keep changing, you know, rotating and wearing on, on our show every week. <clears throat> um, so I really don't need a shirt, but this one I fell in love with. Ever have that happen when you find a piece of clothing you love and you wear it every day for a month because you love it so much? I mean, you get sick of it and you put it in the closet and you never wear it again. This could be one of those shirts. I could wear it without the black shirt underneath, just buttoned. But I thought this looked very 1950. If I put the collar up, look. 
Now I really look 1950. Wait, there you are. There she is, a pretty blonde girl. Oh, hey. oh, you're Text oh. messages trying to get her into the chat room. Yay! Yay! What, whatever the problem was, it's been I'm Warner or whatever. Comcast. Com oh, no. I'm Warner Comcast. Comcast. Comcast in Florida. Comcast. We're in Florida. So anyway, hi gorgeous. Let me hi. You. Hey everybody, now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, Nashville singer, songwriter, recording artist. Jenny Grace, hello and welcome to the show! Yay! Thank you! I'm so sorry we had all these freaking like problems and we don't normally have them, so I, I'm a little embarrassed, but... but no, right. it's fine. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so this is my cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. Hey, baby. How are you? Hello. I'm looking forward to hearing your music. Thank you, sir. And then we have a chat room full of people with two of the people in the chat room have been telling me how great you are the whole time that we've been trying to get you in here. And so say hi to the chat room. Hi guys. And then you gotta definitely say hi to Dawn, because Dawn's like, oh my God. Hi Dawn. So good. And be Claudia in Germany, because she makes all our promo stuff. And Claudia. Says, be Claudia, be Claudia. <laughs> like a bumblebee. So yay, so you're actually, uh, you live in Nashville, but you're from Connecticut and you're in Connecticut, because I talked to you on the phone the other day. Yes, I'm here now. Um, I'm back and forth in between Nashville and here for writing sessions and everything. But I just love New England. You know, I, I it's my home. I've always been here my whole life, so I I do I will never leave. So I, I now listen. It. So if you're from Connecticut, what did you pay to renew your car? How much did it cost? Oh, you? so somebody's been watching and telling me it's not renewal. It's taxes we pay here, eight hundred a year for taxes. Renewal is probably not that. It's probably only like two hundred, but eight hundred dollars a year in taxes. What do you mean eight hundred dollars a year in taxes? Well, I feel like Connecticut's listening. I didn't pay for two years, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oops, oops. So um, it's eight hundred. Like you get t car taxed here in Connecticut. You get like an actual car tax. Every so. year you get car tax. Yeah, it's um. You guys don't have it. I don't know if you have it in Cali. Um, they don't have it in Tennessee, but here there's a car tax too. There's a property tax. There's an income tax. There's just you know everything. That's insane. That's, that's bullshit. A car tax. We, you know, pay, we somebody have, in which somebody just said they pay two thousand a year to renew their car. No, that was her. Oh, you said. Well, I, I said it's yeah. It's about it's about two thousand. So it's like re-registering. It's going to be about two hundred dollars, and then taxes per year eight hundred to nine hundred. I mean, the thing is, like, it's my fault. I have an expensive car, right? If you have like a crappy car, they don't care. But you know, you guys, what your Ferrari or whatever you have, forget it. You'd be paying like two grand a year or something. So. No, but no, I, you, I have an 04 Audi TT Roads a custom. It's a classic. Nice. I keep it as a classic. It's worth maybe ten thousand dollars, and I have to pay four hundred dollars a year to renew my license. That's bullshit. In California, they say it goes according to the price of the car. Okay, Jimmy's car was up there almost near a hundred thousand. So therefore, he has to pay eight hundred dollars uh, a year. I think it's a lot of money because when we were in Florida, I, th I swear I thought it was like thirty-five dollars a year. I just called. No, a, yeah. no, I called a friend of mine in Florida. I said, "What does it cost on Long Island?" To register your car, and he said two hundred dollars. No, two thousand. No, two hundred. Two hundred dollars. A hundred for two years. So for two wow. years you register there. It's a hundred bucks a year to register your car. So how come Long Island is doing that in California? Actually, they're talking that? about how gorgeous you are in yeah, the well, chat room. I, 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 oh, I, thank I, you. You know, I just like to know a little bit about personality before we get into I, 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 me, me, me. I am, I am, I do, I do. You know, I hate all that crap. Jimmy Me Pablo. too. We don't do that on our show. You know, we had on a couple of weeks ago an I, 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 and the show did so poorly. People are bored with it. They want to hear who you are, what you're doing, why are you doing they want to it, know your phone and number. how hard was it, <laughs> and how hard was it to do it. Those are the questions that we ask. So let's go with that. But you are beautiful. You have a boyfriend? Uh, yeah, like here and there. You know, I mean, it's really hard when you're a singer to – get people to care because they just want you to be a wife. They want you to have kids. And I'm just like, I just want to be a singer, you know? So. No, no, no. You could be a wife and have kids and be a singer. Don't shortchange yourself because you know what? God forbid your singing doesn't go anywhere. You have a family to fall back on. But I know a lot of people in this business who did what, said what you said. Oh, no, my acting career. And you know what? Today they're old and alone. 
drunk and unhappy. So family. Well, I, that's right. But it's just this, this, this world. Like, I don't know if I want kids in this world. I don't know about you, but it's pretty crazy. No, no, no. You can raise your kids accordingly. That's baloney. Just don't neglect them and let them go streetwise and just become garbage. <laughs> I yeah. want to talk about your history a little no, bit. We're gonna get no, there. Just, no, we're going to get there. I don't there. want to do this. I want to talk about this other stuff. You were gonna, we're going to do all her baloney in a minute. It's not all her baloney. I, want, <laughs> she I was... want people to know who she is. I know, but. Shut up and let me do it my way, please. <laughs> my husband, I hate him. I'm divorcing yeah. him. Could you let me do oh that? Uh, no, no. So I, I want to like. I want people to know who you are so they like you. And then they will like your music, okay? Because that's how it works. If you have a personality, we know about you. Now we're discussing your marital situation. And that's good because a lot of people out there agree with you and don't agree with you. But at least they know who you are. You come from right. a big you come from a big family? No, I have two younger brothers. My parents uh, had European parents, so uh, you know, kind of came here. Did the whole thing with a lot of military, ex-military, ex-FBI, ex-pilots. So I actually served as well. And uh, it's kind of like in the blood, you know, so. Now, when you date a guy, what kind of a guy you're looking for? Um, someone who's not crazy. I mean, a lot of these guys, like, they'll take you on a date. <laughs> they'll take you on a date. And then, like, after the fourth date, they expect, you know what? And it's like. That's fine, but like I'm kind of old school. Like I don't really do that. I don't like believe right. in that. I don't like doing that. I think it's just so like I'm old fashioned. You know, it's like come on, like this is not a transaction. You know. That's Good. right. I agree Good. with you 100. Now on that lovely note, we'll go to your bragging. No, I want. It's not Jimmy. bragging. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about because like uh, so I spoke with uh with with Jenny on the phone on Monday, you guys. And she started out as a pop singer and she had a record deal and she decided she didn't want to do that. And then she went into the military and she's from a military family. And then she, I think I read online in an interview you did with somebody that you, you know, kind of learned how to write songs and, and, and everything while you were in the military. And then you came out basically wanting to be a singer songwriter because you like to tell stories. So, so tell us a little bit about your history and tell us a little bit about like when you were younger, because like, you know, you were younger and you were given an opportunity that most people would die for and you didn't take it. Yeah. So Sony came to me when I was 14 and was going to make me the next Britney, like Kesha, whatever. And uh, we had a lot of pushback from my parents who were pretty Christian and like, you know, not even Christian, just like, this is my daughter. Like, who are these strange men and why do they want her to be alone at the studio? Just really weird things. Um, so they kind of kept me out of it. And I also had a really bad feeling. Like I just had like, every time they would call, I just like my stomach would turn. So I don't know, like, I feel like gut level. I knew like this wasn't the right time, you know? And so. Okay. So then you went into the military. Yes. I wanted to be in the CIA. Um, I actually got interviewed by them a couple of years after and I worked with them and I thought it was awesome. I wanted to like be like clandestine agent or whatever. And, uh, didn't take that either, but that's another story. But the point is, um, yeah, I served. I was an interrogator. They gave me a top secret clearance. Um, did some cool stuff overseas. Did some cool stuff back here and in Europe. Um, it was an awesome career, you know, and I'm still kind of like in that world, but not completely. But it, it's really scary, too. I mean, I got out at the military because it just it's like I feel like I didn't get blown up. But it's like, why push it? You know, like I was I was safe. So thank God. Actually, our chat room just told us to make sure that we tell you to thank you for your service to the country. Yep. Thank you so much. It's a very cool thing. Okay, so how did you decide on country music? Yeah, so I'm from Connecticut. So there's not, there's like one station here that plays country. So when I was overseas, I, my dad shipped me a, a guitar and I started playing. And I was like, you know, 18 years old, 19 years old, like playing. And I, I didn't really know how to play. I learned three chords. And when I would sing, the country people in my unit, like the Southerners were like, Oh, you have a twang. You kind of sound like Faith Hill or whatever. So that's where my heart was. I started playing and like the twang would come out natural. And that's kind of like where I feel like I fit the best, you know, and, and the storytelling is amazing in Nashville. It's not like other genres. I mean, these stories are timeless, you know? So, so who were some of your like inspirations? Like who is, who are like some of your country music inspirations that are people that you like a lot? Oh my God. There's so many. I would start with Faith Hill in the nineties. Um, I would, you know, Trisha Yearwood, Dolly, 
Merle Haggard. I'm a big Merle Haggard fan. Hank Williams. I mean, actually, you were born on Merle Haggard's birthday, right? I mean, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I read that online. Everybody, every article about you online mentions the fact that you were married that you were <laughs> on, Merle, on the same day as Merle Haggard. So yeah, that's like a lot of fun, and it's a lot of cool. So you started singing very young, um, and now you're becoming well known in in country music. Um, I also read like descriptions of you where they say basically you have the mystical soul of Stevie Nicks and the classic wholesome <laughs> part of the Dolly Parton. So I mean, what a great, you know, that's a pretty that's a pretty impressive comparison. They didn't impress, you know, they didn't compare you to trash. That's for sure. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, I think, I think Stevie has, you know, I kind of like share her views. Like I wouldn't say I'm like, I'm Christian, but I, I like believe in the mystical side of things. I'm like spiritual and that aspect. Like I believe in that kind of stuff. And then also Dolly, like a lot of my songs are classic. So I would say that's where that comes from. Like some of my songs just, you would feel like they were written in a different era, you know? I like love it. So you have a song and it's called Ghost and it's kind of a hit. Tell us what it's about a little bit. Yeah, so that's about uh, a love story that never happened. So it's like we met, we had a crazy spiritual love and we never were able to make it happen. But now the person was a ghost to me and I was a ghost to him. And uh, yeah, it's like haunting. So I'm going to actually, we're going to play that in a second. Actually, Don. Don Hinton in the chat room told us to tell you that her husband built the Buck Owens Crystal Palace. Which I don't wow. know what, <laughs> what? I don't know what it is. The Buck Owens Crystal Palace. I don't know. That's a big I deal. Know. That's a big deal. Okay. So, so but she's, she like loves you because she's the one who was like saying, oh my God, the music is so She had never heard of you Aww. before. But now that she, has, she was telling me how much she like loved all of it uh, and Thank everything you. like that. So um, also I want to give you a – now this one is a brag. This one, I'm going to brag with this one. You're allowed to brag, but they're not. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I always tell my guests, don't brag. It's it's obnoxious. Let, oh, Jimmy, yeah. let Jimmy do the bragging because people are not going to tune in to listen to your resume. Who gives a shit about your resume? Who cares what you do for a living? That's one, two, three. She's a singer. She's a country singer. How far can we go with that? But who is she? What Are you really a blonde? Are you a <laughs> Do you make your hair blonde? Do you prefer blonde? What do you like to eat? Do you cook? Do you clean your house? Do you scrub a toilet bowl? Stuff like <laughs> that. People want to hear that because the world that we live in is a real world. And people want to hear celebrities that are real. Because remember, everything we celebrities do, the other people do as well. We're Actually, all the same. Country singer Hub Reynolds Jr. just joined us in the chat room too. And so country, hello. you know, we have a very darling friend of ours. Uh, uh, her, 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 Hub, Hub, Jesus, and Hub is a country singer, the sweetest, most down to earth, wonderful guy, and people love him when he comes on our show. Our ratings go all the way up. Why? He's gorgeous. Oh, maybe. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, hang on, no. hang on. No, no, no. Oh no! no. Shut up, Jimmy. He's so, no, he's gorgeous. He's got a handsome body. He's got a big body. He's a country singer. He is handsome. And guess what? He's looking for a steady girlfriend and not to get laid either. He's just looking for somebody for a love affair, a relationship. <laughs> You're getting hit. Well, I'm going to give. I'm, no, we're giving Hub your number. No, we're not. We're going to let him find you on social media. No, she just out. said. Which you guys can find. No, wait. She, 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 you guys can get. No, you, shut up, Jimmy. You're you not guys can jinx. follow Jenny on Instagram at Jenny Grace Official. You guys oh, also. Wouldn't it be nice if you and Hub got married and you did a duet? <laughs> Could you picture you and Hub singing together? Like, she doesn't even know what he looks like. He's, he's, trust me, he's handsome. Hey, he is handsome. Hey, chat room is Hub not gorgeous, very sexy. If so hang like, on, let me go wait, back. He's to like him. a bull. He's a butch guy, and he wears cowboy hats. He's very western because he's from Tennessee. Hub says, "I love you, bro." <laughs> what? Anyway, so wait, wait. I want to do the bragging, and then we're gonna play your song. So first of all, you have another single that you did with UK artist Danny McMahon. And it was called Lights of Our Hometown. It's a great song. And it was nominated <clears throat> for Single of the Year at the British CMAs, which I know that they're not as big as our CMAs, but that's a huge <laughs> deal. So we want to give you props for that. And I, I'm, I'm going to assume that it says you were nominated, so you didn't win. But actually just getting the nomination. I a have an deal. idea. If we have the time, Juan, could we bring Hub in next to her so they could meet on our show? <laughs> <clears throat> 
Let's call Hub and see if he's available. No, I can't call Hub. He's in the chat room. Hub is in the chat room? Yeah, why, why do you think I'm talking about it? Oh, Hub, <laughs> Hub, you son of a bitch. And I here I am carrying on how gorgeous you are. You didn't even let, Hub, we're going to go to your computer, open it up. Let's see if we can split anyway, screen no, you hang on. We're with gonna Jamie. Play the song. Stop it, Jimmy. You're against love. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Why are you such a, 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 a waspy square? I'm not. This is romance. You know what? People meet this way. It's so hard to meet a decent. I know, but Listen, today. If they don't like each other, it puts them under pressure. They won't. How could they not like each other? When they meet, they're going to be instantly in love. Are you kidding me? No, we're going to play <laughs> So listen, Jenny, you know how you just said all the men are nuts out there. You know how hard it is to meet a decent guy. I have two daughters, old maids, two old maids, not married, because they can't find the right guy. And I wish somebody would help me out and find one of them for my broads, my daughters. Your broads. <laughs> anyway, if I can help you to meet somebody, you know what? I know this man for many years. Okay. Many years. And he's got a heart of gold. He treats a woman like a queen. He's old school. He's wonderful. Anyway. Hub, you son of a bitch. Get you on the phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold on. So here's what I want you to do, Jenny. I want mm -hmm. you to introduce the song, okay? And Juan, are you ready? I'm hoping that you're ready. You said you were, but that was four minutes ago. So hopefully you're ready. Hang on. Let me just make sure he's ready. Are you ready? Um Yes, he's ready. So you introduce the song. We're going to play it. You hang on, then we're going to talk about it after we come back. Okay, so the song is called Ghost. It was filmed, the video was filmed in Joshua Tree, right near you guys. We are, yeah. Um, I, I'm a big time motorcyclist, so I rode a Triumph Scrambler in the video. I had to do it. Um, and uh, that was a little challenging because you got your little uh, sand on the roads. Uh, but I didn't fall, luckily. And it was fun, yeah. We when we were out in the desert, we saw like some UFO looking things. Like I guess Lockheed's around there. Are you guys aware of that? Lockheed's yeah. like doing yeah. So it could have been a Lockheed thing, but who knows? Uh, we saw some weird looking stuff and we saw coyotes. So pretty interesting. Yeah. All right, everybody, here's Ghost. When we come back, we'll talk about UFOs. I love that. <laughs> we do. Here's <laughs> Ghost by Jenny Grace, everybody. Enjoy. <laughs> Pretend you don't care To forget about our past And hide away in your fear You know you were never the same When you saw me fall the first time And the years go by You live in denial And how's it feel when they still bring up my name
Hey, that's Ghost by Jenny Grace, everybody. Now, you have a great voice. Let me tell you something. I don't say that about too many people that come on our show, unfortunately, because they don't. But <laughs> you have a really, you are, I think you're going to be a very important person. My gut feeling is you're going to make a lot of money and be a big star. You, you sound Thank you good. so much. No, and I like that song, too. Actually, very good. We actually, uh, uh, first of all, what was it like? I want to just give you another compliment because they're saying that another good song of yours is Driving with the Top Down. It's older, but it's a really good song. How long have you actually been doing country music? Oh, my God, only like three years because four years doesn't count because of uh, COVID, you know? Oh, that's so. right. Right, COVID. So you, and wait a minute, I didn't get it right. What? Well, how old were you when you went in the military? I was 18. Well, no, 17. I signed papers. They, they took you that young? I cannot say how I got in at 17, but you guys can figure it out. You're smart. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not trying to find out your age. I'm just trying to find out. They took no, no, I'm saying I forged my papers. <laughs> oh, you forged your papers. Oh, 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 okay. That's okay. That was like very it. American. <laughs> very, right, much like the, very much like what our current president does. <laughs> oh, God. So, so we want to give a shout out too because we were introduced actually on Monday by a very good friend of mine and someone who thinks that you are going to be a superstar and his name is Jeff Buttermark. So we want to give a shout out to Jeff Buttermark who normally, uh, you know, basically you guys know Jeff Buttermark ran, manages the biggest like rock stars and heavy metal stars in the world. And uh, the fact that he's saying that and he doesn't even work with country artists is a big deal because – you know, he, he knows great talent, and you are a great You're very talent. beautiful. You have a great voice. Your music was good. So, I mean, those are the three things that make it happen. Absolutely. You, you. Know, you know why Dolly Parton also became so famous? She's a darling person. Everyone loves her. If she stops singing tomorrow, nobody cares. We would watch her on a talk show. Because Dolly Parton is just probably one of the most down-to-earth, nicest, country people in the world she and truly I, is and i think personality has so much to do with selling a person's work i i firmly believe that if you're like him you go nowhere <laughs> he doesn't want to do, he's, he's a square he is so vanilla and so oatmeal i am demented i am wild i do crazy. <laughs> no i've done this all my life i've done crazy i'm 80 i'll be 83 years old in may and i'm still what? wild yeah. You look way, what is your secret? Oh my God. My secret is be insane. <laughs> you do not you're look 83. Not, you're not human, you're not, dude. You look so you young. Don't, you don't drink. We don't drink. <laughs> no. We don't drink. We don't do drugs. He doesn't use soap on his face. No. He uses olive wow. oil. Um, yeah. You got, got good jeans. Really good jeans. And good. My mother, God bless her, at 80, looked 50. I mean, my mother looked like Ava Gabor. Uh, my yeah. mother was a very beautiful woman. And my father died at 80, and he looked wonderful also. But my grandparents all lived in their 90s, almost 100. What, so what we, are you? What is your ethnicity? Huh? He's Italian. 100% Italian. Yeah, I mean, they got, they got that good skin, you know? You guys don't age. <laughs> it's not fair. We, we go, I go back hundreds and hundreds of years of being Italian. There was some Greek all the way back, back a couple of hundred years ago. We, you know, we did our thing. My daughters did that thing. What do you call it? So everybody's going to, like, love this. I texted Hub, the StreamYard link, to see if we could just get him to come on and say hi. And he said he's so sorry. He can't right now because he's getting a manzillion right now, bikini what? wax, because he's going to the <laughs> – What is he doing? He's getting a manzillion. What is that? It's like a man get their, like, private parts waxed so your know, hairs don't stick out when you're at the beach. <laughs> you just get a – Wow. <laughs> Just, too just, much too much information, but that's so cute. All right, so let's do a thing. Uh, so you're going on concert. First of all, you've done a bunch of stuff already. I know that um, you got nominated for a bunch of Josie Awards and stuff, which is a big deal because for independent music, they're one of the biggest awards that you can get. And um, uh, and we're, we're friends with the people at the Josie Awards. They're really cool. Um, oh, awesome. And I also think I read something in an interview that you got to go backstage at the Grand Ole Opry or someplace, you know, uh, who did you meet? Did you get to meet anybody famous? Yeah, so uh, the guy that wrote the song Friday with Rebecca Black, Clarence J, we're friends. You know that song, okay? Um, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so he, he, we're friends. Um, he's a producer. He was doing, he was presenting that night. And uh, it was the first time I ever went back to the opera. It was awesome. You know, just the history there is definitely haunted, I think. <laughs> oh, definitely. I like I would like to hear you do a cover of Patsy Cline's I Go Out Walking. Oh, it's a great song. Night. <laughs> Out in the moonlight, just for looking for you. I would love to hear you do that. I think you could knock that one over the ballpark. I know crazy too. Let me hear a little bit a cappella. Sure. <laughs> crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy for thinking that my you, no, the song I'm talking about is I Go Out Walking. Do you know that one? Yeah. And I, I go, go walking after midnight searching for you. Hey, <laughs> oh, I'm on it. Oh, please do a cover on that so I can buy it. I love that. I will do that. I'll tell my band because you know what? Patsy was the queen. You have passion in it when you sing it. I love it. You are good. You have a great voice. Thank you so I'm much. I'm happy you're on and I could say nice things about you. <laughs> I know, I was scared. You're kind of like a Simon Cowell. No, and when, you know, and, when we go, and when we go off, and when we go off, off the air, I could still say to Jimmy, gee, she really has a good voice. Thank Not like friend. I had a lie, Jimmy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's a hypothetical. I never lie, by the way. You're going, you're going to go on tour and you can go with any three artists, living or dead, who are you going on tour with? Uh, Johnny Cash. Ooh, wow. Merle Haggard and Ooh. Stapleton. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. Actually, they're all huge ones. Okay, and if and if you were going to do a duet, which who would you want to do a duet with the most? If you could do a duet with any country singer ever. Brett Aldridge. Oh, there you go. Elvis, you can't. No, no, Brett Aldridge. Oh, I thought she said Elvis. <laughs> you know, Elvis, Elvis. Yeah. Elvis. So Brett, Brett sounds like Frank Sinatra, but he's a country singer. Look him up. Uh, you guys will, will like it. But yeah. Elvis Presley was so overrated because he really didn't sing well. He was a stylist. He had a wonderful technique of singing. But he wasn't a singer. He was never, I was never a fan of Elvis. All, all the kids in my, when growing up, you know, oh, Elvis, all the girls loved him. And we guys used to get jealous. And we would say, oh, did you see the album cover? He had three inches of face makeup on, mascara, eyeliner, and dyed black hair. He's a fag. <laughs> we, would, we would say that. We would just say that because we were jealous. So I have another update. Hub just sent me a thing saying he was just joking when he said that. He's not unavailable and he can't get to the uh, computer. So let him call. Is he going to uh, call him? No. He, he, no well, he, he'll meet her. I'll introduce him on, on social media. He wants on to Instagram. meet you. He does want to meet you. Yeah, know, I don't know. Though. The thing is, one thing about you guys understand, I'm vegan and anyone that hunts, I can't. I love animals. Like, I can't. If someone hunts, I can't. Oh, we like, we have, this, is our, this is Astro. Uh, he's, he's our rescue. We have three rescue oh dogs. Oh, my God. That's horrible. We have three rescue dogs. We love animals, um, especially dogs. And this uh, is my baby. Seven pounds of trouble. I have four goldens. You know that's crazy. Oh my god, they're big. So they're we big. only have one yeah, big. Yeah. One. You have, have to brush them a lot. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A lot of work. We have a long hair. Uh, we have a girl here, little Brandy, and she's a bearded Terry, a bearded collie, and you have to brush her all the time. Absolutely, which is a lot of fun. Which I enjoy. Is so, that Hub texting you? So you already? guys know. You guys can follow Jenny on Instagram. Her, is, her Instagram is Jenny Grace Official. J e n n y g r a c e o f f i c i a l. There it is. Um, Hub says he can't fit in a speedo. He was joking. What? <laughs> he says he can't fit in a speedo. I don't know. I don't think he hub, hunts because he has a little had a little farmhouse and he was like always taking pictures of all the like the birds and the cat, his cats and all that kind of stuff. So, well, let's do it. Let's do a duet together. You know, that's a good start. You know, I mean, I don't know anyone. Oh, me, I, he actually wrote that in there. He's actually wrote that in there. We should do it. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm an Aries, so Aries are pretty fiery. I don't know if he can handle Aries. Jenny, you know, Jenny, Jenny, I would not have suggested a duet if he's if he's sunk. If he was okay. crappy, he's got a damn good voice. He is really country. He's like born country. He's awesome. not like, he's not like from Brooklyn and he became country. Yeah. Pup, Pup is a country guy. A hundred percent. He doesn't play it. He lives and, it. Yeah, he is he is one hundred percent the real McCoy country. I like even, love even it. in his 
yeah, ma'am, and sir, and he's just a wonderful fellow. So you guys, I Jen, love him a lot. Jenny's website is JennyGraceMusic.com. So mm -hmm. you have, uh, so how many singles have you released so far? Then, because you just started releasing things, you know, kind of at COVID. How many singles have you released so far? So uh, there's been like four, I think, and uh, I changed my name from Jenny Lee Miller to Jenny Grace because there was somebody else in Nashville named Jenny Lee, and we were getting confused, and it wasn't good. So I said, all right, I'm Jenny Grace. I don't want to be compared. So. We have that, and so that under Jenny Grace, there's just one so far with Ghost, but we're we're, do, we're going to be doing some stuff uh, in Nashville in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to be working with some some people, and they want to kind of make me Lana Del Rey of country and see what we can do with that. And you know, they okay. said that they I have the look or whatever, and Lana is freaking you know, beautiful. So you look a little bit like Cameron Diaz. People tell you that. Everyone tells me that, and you're an actor, so all the actor people tell me that too. Yeah, you <laughs> so. look like. You look like Cameron Diaz. You do. Thank you. What a good thing, though, the Lana Del Rey of country. I mean, that's a fucking big deal because Lana Del Rey is a big deal. Well, she's just so timeless. And I guess, like, they, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what works. You know, hey, I'm open to anything because, uh, you know, I just anything to cut through the noise, right? There's so much noise. That's right. Yeah. I think but it's listen, cool, if you and Hub should hook up and you have to get married, you invite me to the wedding, I'll come. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, oh, like, I like. I, I promise I'll come, even if I'm a hundred. <laughs> so if you were gonna do a cover, like, cause I know you do it. So do you write? Do you write all your own stuff? I know that you learn to write. You, you're basically writing all your own material. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of like Taylor. I just like to have my own. Like, I, I, I would love to have a famous co-writer come with me, but you know, it, usually I just write myself. I used to write poems as a kid and everything else, so it kind of comes natural. Did you write Ghost? Yeah. Oh, it's a good, you write, well, you look, you're singing, you write. Yeah, well, oh. um, my guitarist from Long Island, actually, he wrote the chords to the song. He kind of produced it. He made, like, the melodies. But, like, I have the whole lyrics and everything. So, yeah. So, you're a talented girl. You're natural. You're not a fake make-believe. So, real quick, though. Like that. Real quick, yeah, tell yeah. us about, so you're, you're shooting Ghost in, in the desert and you saw a UFO? Ron loves UFO shit. Oh. That's his, like, Well, favorite. we don't, I mean, you don't know if it's a UFO because Lockheed has their whole stuff that they, they have stuff that looks like UFOs. Like, you guys know that, obviously. Yes. They have, they have, they're called UAVs. Or, you, or, you know what I mean? So. Were you up at Joshua Tree when you saw it? Yeah, and it was just hovering. And I, the thing is, like, the, the videographer I hired, he is from Cali. And he's like, oh, it's no problem. It's just aliens. I'm like, what? Like, we need to, like, do something. They're going to shoot at us. He's like, no, it's cool. I know a lot of people from, I know some people from that area. And they swear that there is a reoccurring flying saucer that periodically comes around inspecting the Joshua Tree area and all of the areas up there. We don't know why they're doing that, but. I believe firmly that we're not the only ones. How 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 obnoxious could we be to think that we're the only people on the on the universe? I well, mean, I think the government's going to tell us soon because they they're releasing all these articles. Did you see it? It says, "Oh, Pentagon confirms well, motherships are here." You know, the media is exposing everything. Now we've have found out that the aliens have been here millions of years ago. Our planet is a million, is billions of years old. There was a civilization here once that time destroyed. And we wow. are descendants. We are the aliens. Ron, and I firmly Ron believe loves it. that shit. He I wants to be in an alien movie, too. He's an actor. He wants yeah, to be in an alien movie. That's awesome. They've never casted me in an alien movie yet. Yet. And that that's, doesn't mean it won't happen. And that's my only want. Is to play an alien, I would because I know he also wants to play a vampire, but he has a vampire movie coming out. I have a vampire movie, <laughs> but an alien. But I so believe in that. I, my favorite program, I'm sure, is yours. Is um, he loves ancient aliens? Ancient aliens. Oh, I love that. That's one of my favorite. History Channel is awesome to begin with, too. Yeah. I, love I love the History Channel. Yeah, he watches that all the time, too. But I, I, I like Jimmy and I drive around sometimes with the top down on the car late at night. And I look up at the sky and I say, Jimmy, wouldn't it be nice if they landed and took us into their ship and then somehow they rejuvenated me and made me 25 again? <laughs> <laughs> they have all the technology. That's apparently why they won't release it because apparently they have unlimited want, resources. So. It'll make everybody go out of I business. I want to be 25 with the knowledge I have of 82. It would be the fun. The wise and the smarts of now. 
you know, when we're young, we waste so much time on stupidity. Oh, yeah. And, you know, that's why I say to you and my fatherly advice to you is if you are like many people, like Lara Spencer, ABC Good Morning America, is a very dear friend of my daughter. They grew up together and a good family friend. Lara has two children, a husband. She produces two shows and is on Good Morning America and does it beautifully without drugs or drinking. She's a lovely human being. She's a normal woman. And I say to people, yes, you can have a career. And her son is wonderful. He's in college. He's winning all kinds of awards. Her daughter is a well-bred lady. These kids are not on drugs. They're not tattooed. They're not weird. They're like normal kids. Not tattooed. Ron doesn't really like oh, I don't tattoos. like tattoos. I don't, I don't either. I don't believe <laughs> no, that's good. No, I, I don't believe in just figuring the body. It's terrible. Uh, we're no. not we're no, not, I don't know how tall I you have, are. I have zero yes. tattoos still. So. I have zero <laughs> tattoos also. I have zero also. How how tall are you? I bet you're five ten and a half. Five nine. Five, five nine. nine. You see in the video you look much taller. But again, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna repeat. You can have both. Just get the music thing first. Because then... let me explain to you, all my life I've been an actor, television, stage, and, you know, never made it big. Always was a one of those mediocre actors. But I had two children, two daughters, who live in Palm Springs, who adore me. And if I didn't have Jimmy, I would have them to fall back on, somebody to bury me. You right. know, no one wants to die and nobody's there to bury you. So it's... Family is so important. In Italian, we say there are three things in life that are the most important in life, and that's familia, familia, familia. Are, <laughs> are, are, either, of family. Your, are either of your brothers in entertainment? Yeah, my uh, middle brother, Dave, he's in my band. He plays, um, you know, fiddle, guitars, everything. So That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. I, like, love it. My, yeah. my little brother is uh, in the Army, too. He's actually in Arlington. He's always in the White House every other week now with, with the stuff they do. So. Well, good. Maybe he could tell Biden to make <laughs> things cheaper again. Yeah. <laughs> to bring back the prices to what they were five years ago. I don't I don't know if he's even in charge, though, right? So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's not. So, uh, what? She said she doesn't know if he's even in charge. I said, no, he's not. Oh, Biden's in charge? <laughs> no, he's not in charge. I mean, mentally, he's not in charge. <laughs> anyway, we aren't going to do politics on the show. So, no, I'm not so, supposed to. And I'm not a Republican or a Democrat either. I'm uh, a, now they want to know your ring size. <laughs> <laughs> ring size? Um, five. I want to know her ring five. size. Five. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! That's <laughs> I don't know who that person is either. But um, anyway, so you guys, this is Jenny Grace. Please. Hey, Jenny, I like you, and I'm Thank happy. You. Know, happy I know you, and I hope one day you'll VIP me to one of your concerts, and I could be up there and say, I know her. <laughs> She's good. I, I like your you. accent too. I like your accent. I, it feels like home, the New York accent. So yes, <laughs> I put my Brooklyn accent. Yeah, I never get rid of it. That's how come they hire me in movies because I was <laughs> a gangster, a racketeer, or a cop. So you guys also, uh, uh, you can follow again one more time, Jenny Grace official on Instagram. Her music is JennyGraceMusic.com. Please watch her video, Ghost. Let's make it go viral. And, it's a um, good song. It's and a we good wanna, video. And we want to thank you for coming on it again. Thank you, Jeff Buttermark. You're a rock star. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Jenny. Hey, I hope Bye. to see you again, Jenny. Bye. 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 Nice meeting you guys. Nice you meeting Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a sweet right. girl. So now we're going to... Um, what a hub. If you're smart, move on this one. Hey, you guys, real quick. We're going to take a quick music break. This is uh, Stefano, why I'm here. When we come back, we'll be here with Daniel DeCrisio. Yay. Enjoy, everybody. Then the fun began. Reflection in the mirror Try to be strong, but nothing's clear It's been a long day, yes, yeah, it's been a long year Ma keeps calling, saying, listen here Kick them doors open, your kingdom will come Don't lose hope, son, stay full of love So I drown my fears and I swam to change Now watch me run through the pouring rain This is why I'm here This is what I'm here for 
Stop doing things I don't wanna do. Guess it's cool, cause it brought me to you on this windy road. Yeah, friends come and go. But I got you here now, and you're all I know. You wake me up, you hold me down. You never leave you on my crown. There's no question, it's crystal clear. In the mirror, try to be strong, but nothing's clear. It's been a long day, it's been a long year. Now I know this is why I'm here. Hey everybody, that was Stefano. The name of the song is Why I'm Here. And now we're going to bring on our next guest, superstar Daniel DeCrisio. <laughs> Yay! Oh, hey! Oh my God, look at him. He gets more gorgeous with the minute. My, he's, you're the god of blondes, the blonde god. So say something. Let's make sure we can hear you. <laughs> can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, turn your, turn your volume up a little. Turn your up. volume up. All right. Do you know how to do Crank that? All blondes, most blondes are stupid. Do you know how to turn up the oh, you hear me or now? Yeah, that's better. Is it better? That's, yeah, that's better. How are you, my buddy? Okay. Um, I'm great. Wonderful. I'm really good, actually. And um, I've just been running around doing Daniel's stuff. You know me. So, yeah, I know. Doing Daniel's stuff. stuff. <laughs> Well, yeah, so you, gotta, you have to tell us all about the party at Mar-a-Lago. That was a sensational well, I, thing all over Facebook. I know. Everybody's going to be like, like Trump supporter, you know, and it's like, that's not what it is. I was invited to an event and I went down and uh, had an amazing time. It was off the hook. Um, and of course he was there. Donald was there. So. Ooh, was and got to meet him and shake hands. Hmm? Yeah, I, I was in Mar-a-Lago many years ago with my friend Perry because Trump was offering $50,000 a membership to the country club there. And Perry thought she, she was looking for husband number four. So she figured all rich guys will be there. She was going to join. And we went up to check it yeah. out. But the men that were there were all 100 and sleeping. But we were in the library and Donald Trump was there and he offered us a drink. And I said, no, thank you. I don't drink. And my friend Perry said, oh, I would love a cold water. Well, he gave her the cold water. And then driving home, she screamed, what the fuck did I do? She said, I should have asked him for Don Leon, my water. <laughs> now, I thought Trump was a nice guy. He very good looking in those days. He was young. I thought he was yeah. very pleasant. A pleasant person. So hang on, real quick. We need you to say hi to everybody in the chat room. So say hi to everybody in the chat room and say hi to Don because Don's like, Don was super excited you were coming on. Hi, Don. Well, between modeling your show, there you go. Uh, okay. Modeling and your show, what else do you do? And traveling, you're always on the go party. What else, or who else do I do? What are you asking? <laughs> 
Actually, I have why everything. Is he, why is he putting it out like that? I don't know. Maybe the internet's bad at the station. I'm not sure. Um, so first of all, you guys, Daniel DeCristio, he's the Messiah of Makeover, TV personality, host, recording artist, celebrity hairstylist, celebrity image consultant, actor, model, and writer. And um, and my very dear friend. There you go. <laughs> I love you, Danny. I know that. I really do. <laughs> I always enjoy. I always enjoy being in your company and seeing you because you're always so happy and you're always so you know fun. You're an up person. You really are. I know people hate that. People hate that. <laughs> they, they hate it well, when you're happy. <laughs> well, this, those are those are negative crap. You get rid of them. Now say something nice <laughs> about me, you fuck. <laughs> Hey, I gotta say something about Donald Trump, though. Hold on. Okay. Something else. Okay. You know, so we chatted, we shook hands, right? Uh huh. Well, I've never felt, I've never felt such rough hands ever. He needs some moisturizer, really. His uh, hands Donald were so very rough hands. He needs moisturizer. <laughs> no, they were that's, so rough. That's because, that's because he he cleans houses for a living. <laughs> Scrubbing floors makes your hands rough. Actually, they want to know about Pamela Anderson in the room, but Who? let me just say, for some of the people you guys at Dan work with, Pamela Anderson, Anna Nicole Smith, Stevie Nicks, Marilyn Manson, Faye Resnick, Kato Kalin. He's been on Geraldo, Extra TV, TMZ, He Talk Daily, Fox News, The Ali G Show, Christmas Court, Christina's Court, Todd TV, Home James, The Gossip Queens, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and he opened for Grace Jones as a performer. And he's also been in a bunch of movies. And he's also got new music out where he shows his And he's ass. also on the Ron Russell show with Jimmy Starr. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I get that wrong? I got That's that right. backwards. <laughs> are you, uh, how close, the, our engineer wants to know, how close to your router are you? To the router? Oh, over, no. where you are. What do you mean, the router next to me? What? Oh, I don't know, because he said that might be why we have, that's why we have uh, you're, you're a jerking, delay. You're jerking in and out. Oh, I am, because the Wi-Fi's on. Like you stop and you go, you stop and you go, you stop and you go. That's well, okay. Nothing but we, right well, you look at your hand face. Were you always handsome, or did you spend millions of dollars in cosmetic surgery? Millions. <laughs> no, I saw pictures of you very young. You were gorgeous, even very young, you know. Now, Danny, no. tell me the truth. Being so handsome, is it a plus or a negative? Um, I'd say it's more of a negative. Negative. <laughs> but, but I would say when it, comes, when it comes to personal, it can be negative. But professional, it's a positive. Okay. Anyone that would be romantically involved with you would have to be a very strong personality, a person who is very self-confident for who they are, because you're just too much for words. I mean, you're beautiful, wow. you're charming, you're sweet, you're kind, you're good-natured. You're popular. You're popular. <laughs> you're everything that somebody would want. But I think... Also, the negative would be you're going to steal the show. You're always going to be the one that people flip over. And the other one is just going to be incidental. You're the, you're the cause. The other person's the incidental. That's why you have to be with somebody famous, important, and rich. This way it balances wow. with who you are. Don't you agree? Oh, with that? You could never be I with anyone that's less than you. Anyone less than you will hate you. Well, they grow to hate you. They do. Um, the thing is, is, there's always competition, which I'm not playing competition, but somebody right. starts the game. Somebody will start the game. Not always, because there are some people who are good with themselves, but nobody, I guess after a while, it's like they, they lose focus of themselves. And then they look at me, they keep looking at me. And that makes a problem between us. You know, you got to keep your eyes on your own paper like I do and that's it you know no one gonna... I used to discuss that with Jane Russell you know we were good buddies like real people we were not fans we were our, our people and I used to say to her Jane 
How do you feel about people liking Jane Russell and not you, Jane Russell? So I hate it. She said, people come on to me because I'm Jane Russell, the movie star. And I just like to be known as Jane, the person. And I agreed right. with that. I said, I see it all the time. No matter when I went out with her, people would kiss her ass and fall all over her because she's Jane Russell, the movie star. But nobody ever really gave a shit about who she was as a person. And I used to feel bad about that. So I would comp I would compensate it. I'd say to her, you know, you're no big deal. You're fat, you're ugly, you're old. And then she'd laugh. You know, she'd laugh. I'd say, and you stink as a movie star. I never even liked your movies. <laughs> And she would just go hysterical laughing. But she got the point. <laughs> How do you feel about people liking you because of who you are? No, I mean I know I know you. I know you, the person, and I'm and I think you're wonderful. But how many people take the time out to find out who you are? They don't. They judge the book by the cover, and that's it. They, just, they don't do know they how just want to, do they just want to have sex with you? <laughs> Of course. Of course. Look at you. You're so, you're so, of course, she said. Well, who wouldn't want to have sex with him? He's got a beautiful body. He's Italian. And he's hung and he's gorgeous. What are you kidding? I just said it all. <laughs> right okay, next guest. That's it, next guest. No. Actually, um, let's go. I was going to say, talk a little bit about, because because you I made you blush I love it in the in the in the in the, time that, <laughs> in the time that we've known you you've spent a lot of time you you're doing a lot of stuff more as a recording artist you're doing yeah. a lot of stuff um I always see you, did you, uh, you uh, go ahead say that again I was gonna say but you forgot my most recent little accomplishment which is I'll hold it up remember this Oh, that's right. What is that? It's a certificate of recognition. Oh, uh, yes. Tell everybody what it was for. No, I'm very proud of it. That's why I wanted to be seen. Um, I was given this by John S. Lee, councilman, and uh, it's for my work with the LGBTQ community. So all the LGBTQ work I've done. You got, so you got you go. your award. And, your, your, this award. Everyone signed it. All yeah, the look at all those signatures on it. There's a lot of councilmen on it. This award yeah. is for Danny for all the hearts he broke. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> My mentorship, I loved, you know. I loved you in that pink suit. You know, I have a pink suit also that I wore to Sue Wong's house for a big party, and everybody went crazy over me in the pink suit. And I thought, what the hell, a pink suit? Why not? You know, years ago, you get beat up if you wore a pink suit. Yeah. There was a faggot and they killed you. On? Now Should you I can wear a pink suit. Should I put it on? <laughs> what? Should I go do an outfit right now? Listen, listen. I understand your new video. Your ass is out. Yes. You, you got your ass out naked. Tell us about the video a little bit, so you yeah. guys see us, because we're going to play the video. Everybody's going to see his ass, and uh, we're all going to see Daniel's ass. And the, the name video. of the video is "I'm on Fire." <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the video, and then we're going to let you introduce it and play it for everybody. Well, the video is "I'm on Fire." It's basically about these OnlyFans sites and all that. How you watch people on the internet now for you know pickup and all that stuff they do but nowadays. So, like, you know, but you can't touch them because you're watching them, right? So right. basically, that's what I'm doing. But there's also part in there about, you know, going out at midnight kind of thing. But that's not what it's about. It's more about the online. So, yeah, let's, if anybody, doesn't know, anybody who doesn't know, oh, if anybody doesn't know what OnlyFans is, that's kind of like it started out as kind of like an Instagram kind of like thing. And now it's basically where all the famous people go and put up their porn pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and do videos and dirty videos. And I'm do everything. Yeah, Everyone do tells everything. me I should do it, and I'm not going to do it. Though. How do you? I should do it because I read. I know about all those dirty things. No, I, I I actually read an article. There's a Disney star. A girl, I think it was a girl. You're I a liar. Two, no, you go on that network. I do and not. I read two, two different Disney stars. There's a girl, and she she's not a Disney star, and she couldn't get any work, so she made an OnlyFans, and she makes like three hundred thousand dollars a month. So oh, I'm going yeah. naked. Find, where do I find this show? 
Daniel, you have a question you one now. And I'm like, why should I do one? Should I do one? I mean, I don't, I don't think that's like, you know everything. You don't really need the money that bad. I wouldn't do it. I would do it. I need the money that bad. I'm going to let my hair grow like this. I'm going to let my hair grow yeah, like yours. Right. Wait, on one side. And I'm going to advertise myself as Daniel DeSico's father. Daniel DeSico's De grandfather. De Crisio. De Crisio. De in Italian. Anyway. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to say I'm your grandfather. So wait, we're going to play the video for everybody. And then I'm going on that website. Hey, Juan. I'm Danny's grandfather, naked. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Let me just make sure Juan's good with the video. Uh, um, let's see. Yes, he's good with the video. So you introduce your video, your song, and let's hang on, and we're going to play the video for everybody. All right. Oh, oh. oh, actually say it, though. Say what it is. I'm Daniel DeCristio, and this I'm is my video. I'm on fire. There I'm on go. fire. Written there you go. <laughs> Yay. All right. Take it away, Juan. Woo.
show you guys. I told Daniel to log out and log back in again, so it'll right. take him a second to come in just to see if we have a better connection. But look how good he looks on the back of the thing. Right. So that's Daniel DeCristio's song, you guys. I'm on fire. It's a fun video. He looks terrific in it. He's so crazy. I love him. And, He's just uh, a nut. He's wild. That's my Danny. He's, I call him Danny. I'm the only one that's allowed, by the way. Most people have to call him Daniel. Daniel DeCristio. And we see him at a lot of cool like no, events. Please. We, we kind of like uh, run in some and of the he's same been, circles. He's been to our house for a party. He's just really uh, he's, he's a he's good very friend. very cool. He's one of our really good friends. And he's a true blue. He's not a phony friend. And he does lots real... of modeling for a lot of different companies, you guys. Also in movies, he was in um, Hair, Vampire or Trey, Party Monster 2, Japanese Borscht, Old Man Jackson, Duke of New York. Uh, we actually had all the people from Vampire Trace when it came right. on out on the show. That was when in, we lived in, in real life, Pennsylvania. He is very outspoken, like me. He tells it like it is, like me. He doesn't really give a damn about what he says, like me. So we have a lot in common. That's why we get along so well. When Danny and I are together in private, we really shoot the shit and tell the truth about people and politics and situations and uh, the gay world. And um, he's a good guy. Where is he? Danny, oh, come on, fix that thing. There you come. Here you come. Oh, now is you're better. better? Yes, oh, yeah. much better. Yeah, yeah. Right. Meanwhile, meanwhile, let's critique that video. I suspect, <laughs> I suspect that you're looking to get laid, maybe. I don't know. You think? You're, you're, I'm just kidding. Here I am. Take me. You're rubbing your private parts. So I think that means you're hot and horny. It's going to get a lot of guys, a lot of gay guys are going to want to bang you. They're going to get crazy from that video. And a lot of women are going to, women are going to want to sit on your face because that from that video. So I think that you're really going to upset a lot of people with that video. Now, the music was really good. I love the oh, video. The way it was shot was really shot well. And of thank course, you. you're, you're a notorious, outrageous person. You're like the male Jane Mansfield. And I've always compared <laughs> Pat, right? My nickname for you is Jane Mansfield. Yes, Mansfield. Well, you call me um Mansfield all the time, yeah. All the time I call you Mansfield because yeah. Jane Mansfield was outrageous in her sexuality. <laughs> and I compare you to the you're the, the male Jane Mansfield. For those of you look up Jane Mansfield who don't know who she was, you are an incredible person, a fun person to know, and a delightful person to know. Oh, I'm not blowing you. smoke up your ass because I don't do that. I didn't well, like you it. just well, you just saw my ass. Did you blow smoke up it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? It's not a bad ass. But I, I tell I, me. I, okay, I, give me. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to hear. No, Rate really. it one to ten. I give me have one a to ten. Ass than you do. I have to tell you. Oh, I please a, show it. Any, I don't believe it, you. No, I will Stand show up. you. My, I will Stand show up. you my ass one day. Not on television. In person, <laughs> I'll show you my ass next time I see you. But eighty-two years old, I have a young man's ass. Firm and oh, give it back. Give it back. I, <laughs> I, I, I always had a great ass, really a beautiful ass. I, <laughs> you know what? That you know, I gotta say something though. I'm not promoting my ass all the time. That's not what I do. But it doesn't look that damn bad, considering. No, it, know, looks it looks good. Right. It's so not far really. away. You should have got a close up. No, I'm not that. I know, but I'm not that. You know, I'm not like Ron. That. Ron, like, Ron, Ron smiled a lot when you were like had the white sheet. Oh yeah, I love that. He loved the, all the scenes with the white. <laughs> when you were grabbing yourself, spinning on the bed, I thought, "Oh my God, he's demented." I love him. <laughs> Look how wild he is. That shit I would do. <laughs> but I was, but I was at the tip of my penis show, just a tip, as a as a as a taste. Tasty, you know, like a hors d'oeuvre. So I have a question. Out yeah. of all the That's different good. things that you do, do you have something that you like doing the best? I mean, because you basically cover, I think, except for being an author, no, you do. cover every spectrum. That's, that's coming. That's coming, actually. I already have a book already together that's going to be okay. published, so get ready for that. But no, I that's enjoy a lot of things. Um, well, the book's going to be about everything from the scandals I've been in and all, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, cause you know, from the Clinton scandal on down to the OJ stuff I've done. Oh, and talking about people, you're saying about the way I look and how people can react. When I did Playboy back when with Faye Resnick, you know, from the OJ trial, we went to Mexico and, you know, the vice president of Playboy, Marilyn Grabowski, we all flew down together and we got to the, the airport and we were walking through and Marilyn said, 
Daniel gets more attention than Faye. <laughs> <laughs> I believe and that. So, and I, made, I actually made Faye carry my bags. I said, I'm not carrying your bags. You're going to carry mine. And I actually did. And she's pulling my bags behind me. <laughs> I said, it was funny, though. Oh, my God. Now, but, I, yeah. I promised our viewing audience or listening audience that you might tell us some stories about some of the celebrities' hair that you did when you worked for Jose. <laughs> for Jose, oh God, like Star Jones or who? Let's see. Um, there's a lot. I mean, Pamela Anderson, Stevie Nicks, Stevie Nicks. You know, I met her actually at the salon. That's how I met her, and she walked up behind me, and my hair was um golden blonde more back then, and she grabbed the back of my head, and she goes, "The man with the hair of many colors," and she goes can you do this to mine? And I didn't know who the hell it was. I turned around. I'm like, oh, fuck, it's Stevie Nicks, right? <laughs> and I'm, like, Cause I'm like, who's this bitch pulling my hair, you know? So then uh, I turn around and she's like, you know, can you do this to my hair? I go, you got an hour? And she goes, yeah. I go, well, we're not going to do it here. She goes, no, come to my house. I said, okay. So we did it. We did it through the management and everything, but it was good. And then we ended up having a great relationship kind of, and, you know, going to moon shadows for dinner and, having um it was really wild she had me do her lifetime special shoot with that guy um what's his name now guy webster who shoots all the legendary rock stars and um, he shot me with her i mean it was great you know she was a fabulous, fabulous i love star. stevie nicks she's one of my favorite people who else <laughs> tell me who was difficult what movie star was difficult all right you want a bad one? Oh god yeah, bad one. like joshua oh, you... she was a bitch <laughs> well bay resnick's a little uh, she's a little much she was cool in the beginning, but then it gets to her, you know, she gets a little jealous. People get jealous. That's the problem, you know, because people start asking me to do things. I mean, when we were shooting Faye in, in Mexico, I told you, Marilyn also said to her, if Faye gets sick, we'll shoot Daniel from the back and we'll just <laughs> say it's her, you know. But the thing was, and Marilyn kept saying, you know, you should have been the playmate. She shouldn't have been saying that in front of her, but that's what happens. And they get a little bitchy. They get a little diva out. You know what I'm saying? They do that. So what about Pamela Sue Anderson? I mean, uh, I mean Pamela Anderson, not Pamela Sue. Pamela, Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Pamela. What is this? Um, the Dukes of Hazard? Pamela Sue Anderson? <laughs> no, <laughs> Pamela Anderson. Um, it's Pamela Denise Anderson, actually. Just so you know. But okay. um, no, it was great. We had a really cool time, actually. Um, we did a 24-hour fitness campaign for Asia, and um, we were um shooting the thing, and Magic Johnson showed up, and we had lunch with him, and that was really a lot of fun. And uh, it was a little wild because she doesn't like to be told what to do too much, like from people outside of the uh, shoot, you know. So it's like me running the shoot with the photographer and all that. But she's been pretty nice, actually, with people. Um, I've never seen her go off on anybody, but not with me. But let me see who else. Um, no, she was my, I just like her no, a my, lot. My you know, she's my, fun. My daughter, Leslie, was her business manager, managed, oh, all, wow. her, managed all her money. And oh, when, wow. Pamela, when Pamela got the engagement ring with the big diamond, she yeah. said to Leslie, here, try it on. And Leslie put the ring on. She said it fell over. It was so big. But Leslie yeah. liked Pamela. Pamela was very kind. Yeah, Pamela's really very, very kind. Mm -hmm. we, were in, we were in Hawaii shooting Baywatch Hawaiian Wedding, and we flew together <laughs> in a private jet. And my mother was going through some sickness at the time with cancer and all that. And um, Pamela wanted to talk to my mom. So I put her on the phone. And Pam wanted to send her to her doctor that was in England that does the prince, the, the queen of England. They do the same doctor or whatever. And I was, it was really nice to see that conversation. You know, it was really nice. And she was talking to me about it deeply. That was, yeah, that was a big plus there, you know. But you with me, you know, we, we would get along great. We're like, but, you know, we look alike sometimes. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever know, did you ever meet Farrah Fawcett? Because oh she, my gosh, she was my client. No, she, she was, was my client, client for a while. Yeah, I, oh, wow, I knew. Yeah. You didn't do that wave, though, did you? you know, that the thing that no, made all... I'm not that old. No, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You said I'm not that old. I don't even know when that was. I guess I was in uh, a kid. Oh yeah, I guess I oh, that was like what I the mean, mid '60s, I '70s. Met, I mean '70s probably. I met Farrah on the 70s. set of Charlie's Angels. Mm -hmm. She was busy. You know, she was a very, um, I guess we would say, an intense actress when she was ready to go to work. She was very right, careful. She was very yeah, careful, was. And very frightened of what she was going to do. She was mm -hmm. very she she was worried about the camera, the lighting. Uh, she didn't, she really didn't worry about her acting. She worried about what was going on around her. Whereas mm -hmm. the opposite was Jacqueline Smith, because I was in scenes with Jacqueline Smith. 
Jackie was just nonchalant and calm and wonderful. Yeah, she's it, very calm. Yeah, very calm. Exactly Farrah said, was very serious. She was trying hard to be serious. She didn't want to. Very serious you know, actress. Yeah. yeah. She didn't want to be was seen calm, as, right? You did Jackie's hair too? Jacqueline Smith, no. But she came oh. to the salon all the time. She was always going to Jose. But the thing now, was with Farrah, she was a little nutty at the end because she was sick and she was doing some wild things back then when I was dealing with her though. Not to me, just like like going into the bathroom and not coming out for like 15, 20 minutes and stuff. Like a little weird stuff she was doing, but she was still fine. She had short hair. You know, she had her hair short then. Do you, and, um, wait, wait, wait. You, I think you did my friend Diane Parkinson from The Price is Right. Did you do it? Janice her? Pennington. Janice Pennington. Jan, Jan was Jan's a very dear friend of mine. I love Jan. Jan, Jan and I amazing. were friends for you know how many years we're friends? 30 years uh, or something. I knew wow. Jan. I knew Jan when her husband, who was a CIA guy, disappeared. You know, they, oh, I right. think mm -hmm. they killed, they murdered him, I think, up in the mountains somewhere. And yeah. Jan at that time was, oh, I shouldn't say this. Anyway. <laughs> say it. <laughs> She was having a love affair with the, the, that beautiful Italian actor, Nero. Uh, um, Daniel DeGrissio? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, 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 the beautiful actor with the blue eyes, uh, Nero. Nero. Uh, Robert uh, De Niro? Nero? No. Peter Nero. I, not Peter Nero. Something Nero. The... Uh, anyway, I, Jan may not like the fact that I'm saying that. Anyway. I want to go on. So, do, do you, you see Janice ever? I don't know where Janice wound up. No, no, I haven't seen her in a long time. But I have her book she gave to me about the guy disappearing and all that. My you husband, know. yeah. yeah Diane, yeah. Diane Parkinson was living in Westlake. She sold the house in Westlake, and she disappeared. Maybe she went yeah, back. They all did. You know, they all, did all, all those models. They all disappeared. You know, they're, all, they're all like my age, or, or we were all <laughs> contemporary. So they they don't look as they did back then. And I guess they hide Janice a lot. Janice looks great, though. Jan, I saw a picture of Janice. She looks great, though. She has my color hair now, but she yeah. looks great. Janice yeah. has Janice is very tall, and she has yes. the bones, those wonderful bones mm -hmm. in her face. What did you do, Jimmy? Nothing. Stop fucking around with the camera. No, I'm trying. I'm not All right, fucking Jimmy, what did you do? What did you do? Trying, the, the YouTube chat has, like, disappeared, and so I'm coming in here to see the chat because there's people talking. I just can't. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so what, anyway. what other celebrities did we know? No, I want to know. Like, I want to know. So do you know Richie Rich? Because we, we worked with him Love for a Richie while. Rich. I know of Richie Rich. I've never met him, though. Oh, he's he another demented nut job. That's uh, another have, nut. You know, like, when he him. goes to an event, we'll make sure we invite you. Because you guys would yeah. probably get along because you, you're – you're no, 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 We run no, 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 in the no, no, same no. circles. Yeah, I know you do. I know you were a party monster, too, when he was in the first one. Danny is stylish. Vogue, GQ, and class. Richie Rich <laughs> is easy, rhinestone, overly done, and fabulous. The opposite. <laughs> I love yeah. Richie Rich. He's one of my I favorites. Know, he's, he's crazy. He's fun. But he's I've wonderful. never met him, but I'm aware of him. And I met his partner, that other guy that worked with him. What's his name? Well, years ago, I met him with the cowboy hat. Was his name? Oh, the one that did the oh, Heather Travis, was him? Travis Yeah, Ray. Travis. Yeah. I met him before I had pictures with him and all. Yeah. I yeah, met him. We, we, we'll have you and Richie together. Should be a hoot. Yeah. Oh, you, <laughs> may, you, may clash. you may clash. You may want to outdo each other. I don't know. Oh, oh no, I, not that again. Oh God. No, That's but you're, you're totally <laughs> no, you're totally you're totally GQ when you're not in costume and with your ass hanging out. You, well, you got to do something to shake it up. What am I going to do? Listen, I gotta do something, Daniel, Daniel, whatever whatever gets you there and makes you famous the is jig, important. The, the jig is up. The jig is up, okay? We got to, like, <laughs> the time's up. <laughs> no, enjoy it. You've got 30 years more before you look like shit. Like we all you never do. know. Next year, listen, you never know what will happen. Listen, one day I'll show you a picture of me at 20 years old, and you're going to say, that's not you. That's Tony Curtis. Because that's how much I, I looked like him when I was young. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, I met Tony about 50, 20 years ago. And I said to him, I said, people think we look alike. And he said, no, yeah, we don't. He was better looking. But the pictures that I have of Tony and I at his age, I was far okay. better looking. Tony did oh, not. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. I believe that. And no. by the way, just so, so you know, 
I ha I'm not the what's his name Tiger King guy. What's his name? <laughs> that guy. Oh yes. What? Okay, because uh -huh. I have a tiger behind me on my wall, right? See my tiger sitting behind me here. Right here, he doesn't even know who that is. Oh, what are we talking about? Uh, all right. Tiger. Well, you know Carol Baskin and all them. You know that's not me. But the thing is, this painting behind me. The reason why it's here is it's from my mother. She sent it to me right before she passed away because I love cats. So oh. I have to put it up, even though whether it's good or not, I have to put it up. You know what I'm saying? So no, it has meaning. So I have a. Uh, they they want to know. Yeah. We only have two minutes left. They want to know are we avoiding Anna Nicole? So tell us something about it. And I actually made a movie right after she died with her bodyguard. Like I forgot his name, but like I was in a movie with the, her bodyguard. Anna Nicole. Yeah. yeah. Anna Nicole. Well, you know, I did her hair, and we used to eat all that junk food together, all the ho hos and Snickers and all that. <laughs> Because I love junk food. You know, they ended up covering the trial when she, you know, was gone and Howard Stern with the doctors. I had to cover the trial for this Anna Nicole Smith site. So I had to deal with Virgie Arthur and all those people. So, yeah, I know the whole thing inside and out. It's just, you know, with her. It's a shame what happened, really. But Absolutely. I saw the whole thing, you know. But you eat, junk, to food? Me, you, you eat junk food now? Oh, like, oh, I, love, I love chocolate. What are you kidding? <laughs> I have to have chocolate every day. I have to have my M&M peanuts or something. I cannot go without it. There's no way. Uh -uh. No, no That's way. Hilarious. So you guys can follow Daniel. Look, he's Daniel DeCrisio on Instagram. Are you also Daniel DeCrisio on? Uh, uh, I'm everywhere. Daniel DeCrisio. It's okay. Always Daniel DeCrisio, iTunes, all that kind of stuff. Everywhere you go. And, um, you know, I also have those movies I've done. I've been in like six, six movies already. Um, I've done over 50 TV shows already from the Ali G show. He said, Bruno, my big thing and all that. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, Miss Sally Kirkland did her show, you know, her talk show. But, um, yeah. Sally's yeah. a good friend of mine. She's a good friend of everybody, Sally. Uh, Sally yeah, Kirk. Sally's great, yeah. Mm -hmm. good. But, you know, that's it. That's my Danny, the next time you're in Palm Springs, call us. Oh, I will. Totally. Yeah. And, totally. And I'll, I'll, I'll cook us a nice Italian dinner. You guys can follow, and then, and then I could show you my ass. You can also see, <laughs> you can also see Daniel. You guys, his website is DanielDeCristio.net. But follow him on TikTok and follow him on Instagram. Oh, just and, follow him and anywhere. Download his, He's so cute. And download his music. And we actually mentioned when we were waiting for you to come back on. We actually mentioned Hair Vampire, Vampire Trace, Party Monster Two, Japanese Forest, Old Man Jackson, and Duke of New York. We mentioned those. So, so we and got hair, in there. hair also. Hair. Yes. There, I did as well. Yeah. <laughs> you fit for that yeah, one. It's Perfect. important because I went to Lee Strasberg in New York. I was on a soap opera on my children for a while. I've done a lot, you know, but it's funny how I'm all over the place. You know, I got it all over the place. So that's good. It's wonderful. All the way around. All right. So we got to go you're, through you're, you're time. An absolute celebrity. You are. Right, Love yeah. you, Danny. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see, see you soon. out here, or we'll see you in LA. And everybody, check out I'm on Fire, the new video. Just Google I'm it. I'm on fire for you. Check out his <laughs> ass. Oh, that's right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Love we'll you, see you, Danny. Bye-bye. 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 All right. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah, we in the mix, it's another episode Here we go, the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Interviewing the hottest, newest, and truest of today's celebrities Make sure to subscribe so you can get notified weekly Jimmy Star, he's the king of cool Ron Russell, he's a gorgeous dude Chat room is live and you would be a fool Not to vibe with us at the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell So come watch it live on W4CY Radio Miss some past episodes, download on iTunes The Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell It's the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Oh.